Michael Mapp here, quick recap of uh, the markets today. So our index is ripped higher, especially the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ just keeps going up every day. It's, uh, it's insane with this AI uh, talk now. You can see the one month chart here on, on the NASDAQ. You probably see it better here in the, uh, in the futures. Um, better, uh, better indicator. We're almost at 14K. I don't know why that, that, that has that price there. But if you take a look at the monthly chart, it's just insane. From twelve eight to thirteen nine, we're basically up a thousand, a thousand points. I mean, it's been unstoppable. I, I, in my opinion, it's. It's overvalued, but by all means, go go all in uh, if you like. Not my cup of tea right now. Uh, Ten year three six four. Uh, the dollar has ripped higher in the last couple of days to one hundred three fifty currently. Um, foreign currencies are pretty mixed right now, but the, they were down earlier today. Bitcoin under twenty seven k at twenty six eight eight five down one hundred five. Uh, oil 72 bucks uh, pretty flat in the after hours uh, we talked about the S&P which is ripped which is highly correlated with the uh, Nasdaq ether at 1800 up eight gold has been smacked down from that 2050 range almost it got to it's just been smacked down basically a hundred points uh, we hit 2085 and we've just been smacked down unfortunately I you know, I don't know if they're spoofing the paper contracts. It is what it is. Um, copper 369, 370 has also been uh, pretty hit hard with a lot of the other commodities. I'm not going to lie. Most commodities have been decimated, um, which, in my opinion, is a buying opportunity. Uh, small cap 1794 down two. And what else? Dow Jones 33636. The up 18. Nat gas had a decent move today. Maybe that's one commodity that should perk up. UNG was better today as well. Uh silver at 20 under 24 at 2367. VIX under 20 at 1910. Another commodity that has been destroyed. All of them. Corn, wheat, and soybeans have been destroyed. Interest rates have climbed. We got the 10 year at 364. So money is leaving the tech, the the money is leaving the debt market, and it's going into, I guess, tech. Um, I don't think that's the place you want to be. I think you want to be in commodities. I think they're overvalued these tech plays, um, but they we have all this AI commotion going on right now, um, and uh, people like that FOMO. I don't know how that would end, but. I still keep adding some of the stocks that I like that I did a couple YouTube shorts on, on uh, on the names that I that I that that I mentioned in those shorts. Uh, ALB for lithium, Decker shoes, uh, pizza, Papa John's, Wingstop, uh, Bed Bath, uh, by, uh, Bed Bath uh, Body Works, whatever they sell the candles and and. Uh, uh, lotions and shampoos and all that stuff. Um, nice place, always packed. To name a few, um, just watch the YouTube shorts. I put my favorite stocks there, but those are just a couple of them that I like. You also want to be, besides commodities, you want to be uh, nibbling in the crypto space. Bitcoin, Ether is what I like, Beetle or ETHE. I still continue to put money in there. And international funds. Uh, really been uh, pushing money into the uh, uh, FKDX, um, which is at 13 bucks. I don't know how I reacted today, but I really put putting some, uh, some change into this international fund. On the trade front, not really active because the VIX is basically pretty low. It's at 1605. 
down 5% today. So I'll look for better opportunities to enter. I had a little bit of stocks the other day on the ones that got beat up, um, but nothing, nothing significant. I got some dry powder waiting for a pullback and some names, and I added aggressively uh, this last uh, pay uh, check into international funds. Pretty set in precious metals. I'll wait for bigger pullbacks. Have been adding to natural gas. Um, haven't done anything in the ag space. The ag space has really been beat up. Uh, it can get worse. I mean, if you guys looked at these charts, they're really, really bad. If you look at uh, wheat, it was at 706, hit 604, uh, down, down a buck. Soybeans from 1530 to 1323, really bad. It's just straight down lines of corn from 682 to 554. And you can look at longer term history on those charts, it's pretty bad. Oil is there in, you know, between 70 and 80. It's right now, 72 bucks. That's another one to keep a look at. And gold and silver have pulled back uh, aggressively from their highs. Um, on the index fund, the, the, the Dow Jones and the small caps have trailed the NASDAQ, which has been unbelievable, and the S&P. And that's pretty much all I have uh, today. Uh, we're waiting on debt ceiling negotiations, and the Panthers are about to start at 8 o'clock, so I'm excited about that. Anyways, have a good night. I'll see you in the next video.